we've got to find a way, the public education part of this thing, I mean, I mean, the public education issue in America, because it's sort of a whole hum, mm. you know, attitude. And that's why we work so closely with the Mexican American Legal Defense Fund, the Asian American Legal Defense Fund, because the issues that we face, they too face in different mm. ways. You know, when we did the whole issue about English only, you know, mm. that, that looked like whites only to me. I, yeah. I can see that. You know, English only. Now we, after we've gotten through that period, we realize how, how valuable it is for our kids to be multilingual, you know, to be to have s several languages mm. under their command. Um, but I don't know where it comes from. Well, I, I've thought that one of the biggest challenges to black leadership or minority leadership generally mm -hmm. is how do you engage the majority? Yes. It's not how do you engage the minority, yes, that's it's not. how do you engage the majority. That's right. And that's a challenge that I don't think we've met. No. No, we have, and, uh, but, but one of the ways, of the, you know, we would be surprised at the vast number of people of goodwill in this country who are non-minority, mm -hmm. who understand that the job is not yet done, and who, who are willing, if called upon, you know, in, in, in discreet and uh, purposeful, targeted ways to help, would help. But that, and I believe that's a majority, but that mm. majority is silent. Yes. They're silent. And we've got to find ways to engage them. But you know what, 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 where we've fallen short? It's our public education efforts. It takes money. Mm -hmm. It really takes money to get the word out. And the far right has had it. Yeah. And they've organized. I mean, they started organizing in the mid-70s. And they've got a huge organization. Lawyers are part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, the community organizing is a part of it. Mm -hmm. But the biggest part of what they do is public education propaganda and, propaganda right? yeah. and and we've got to figure out how to because we've got a message we don't have to craft a message mm -hmm. we know what the message is you know but the, the, we have to find ways of coordinating our activities and focusing on this 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 public education mm -hmm. the, the leadership development has to be within making sure we can get these quality schools for our kids and help our kids to dream Mm -hmm. Our kids, too often their dreams are dashed. Mm -hmm. Kids, you know, inquisitive and creative. We, 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 that's beaten out of them, and, and, and it's, their circumstances beat them down. So we're on the right track when we stick with this whole question of quality public education. If we mm -hmm. lose that, we've lost this one. Yeah. If we, if we lose that, this fight that we're in now up to our eyeballs mm -hmm. on quality public education, because that's where most kids are and they're going to be. 94%. Mm -hmm. 94%. And in, a, and in a democracy, if democracy, if we don't have a certain level at which we educate or uh, afford all of our kids uh, uh, um, uh, exposure uh, uh, and, to the, and so give them the opportunity to have an educated mind, we really, we, we can implode. And, 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 and that's real. Of course, you read these surveys that say 60% of black people support these measures that are going to defund and delegitimize public education because in America. Because we have failed. Mm -hmm. We have failed in the, the public education effort. When you give that voucher that's worth $2,000 or $2,500 and the private school is $8,000, where the hell is the $6,000 going to come from? But, and it's an you, illusion. But that so many people are so from. desperate for their children that part of leadership must be responding to this 60 percent. How, how do you respond to it that 60 percent? Do you just do what the majority wants to do? Or do you say the majority, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Oh, no, no, you have to. You mm -hmm. have to tell them. No, no obligation. I mean, leadership. you may not say it like Even that. No, you have, yes, but you've got to have a good, you know, we have got 300 cases across the country, most of them in the South, having to do with quality of elementary and secondary education. And these are cases that are holdovers, but the court is still, still has jurisdiction mm -hmm. over, you know, whether they're going to get the computers, and where you're going to put the computers, whether or not the school should be built in this community, in that community. The only way you can stay in court on these issues is issue of race mm -hmm. and segregation. Although we know economics and class are important issues, there's no statutory basis that I know of, mm -hmm. a constitutional basis to get in court on those issues. Mm -hmm. Poverty. How, how can I go to court on poverty? Mm -hmm. With this, the basis, the legal framework is not there. The legal, I've, oh, I've got to find a, a race angle to get these issues dealt with. Mm -hmm. And so I take what I'm given. And so in these cases, and we're going to communities to community, you'll be surprised. A lot of folks 
A um, lot of people who are never polled understand the value of public education. They are a little depressed about the quality. And mm -hmm. no one has shown them how we can turn this thing around, which is which is our responsibility to do. But you have to understand their frustration. We've been trying to turn it around yeah, for but years you know what and we, years we and years we, and years. We, we, what we have to have, Julian, what we have to have is this. We've got to have a dedicated arm of us, fully funded and endowed, mm -hmm. that does this, public education yeah. on these issues, that, and does it, I mean, with all the sophistication that one has. We don't have that.